Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. Today is uh, Sunday. Uh, it's now around uh, 9 o'clock, I think half past 8, 9 o'clock and I just got ready. I woke up really early today, uh, around 6, uh, had shower, got myself ready, uh, straightened my hair and did a little ponytail and I'm wearing this look because we are off uh, at our house now to go to Mr. Village and I'm so excited for that. We're going to spend the day there and browse a little bit, uh, see a few shops and uh, yeah, I'm super excited to go shopping at Mr. I'm not really looking to buy anything today, it's just one of those days where you want to spend the day looking at beautiful things, which is the plan. And then the most exciting thing about today is that we are going on holidays as well. We are going to Dubai today guys and I can't believe it. Um, our flight is at half past nine from, from uh, London Heathrow um, airport so we have plenty of time. We're gonna leave the house now. We're gonna go to Bister Village which is around Oxford area and then we're gonna do a little bit of shopping, uh, browse the stores and then after that we'll head on to the airport and catch our flight at half past 9 p.m. So this is the look for the day. So this is a look that I wanted um, to wear for Bister Village and for the airport and for our flight. So our flight will be arriving into Dubai around 7, 7 o'clock so it's a long flight but it's a direct flight. It's not too bad and I wanted to, be, to feel comfy and warm because it's going to be a night flight and I also wanted uh, comfortable shoes to wear because I'm going to be walking around a lot in Bister Village and this is what I chose so I put on this beautiful pink top by Reese and this is really cute uh, it's like a knit but it's not too warm long sleeve and I feel really comfy with it and stylish the trousers are my new Reese trousers I'm going to show you hopefully you can see and I put it on with my pink uh, Michael Kors uh, tennis shoes because I just want to walk around and feel comfy. For jewelry I'm wearing this Sarah Christie uh, warrior necklace and this one right here as well. I don't really remember what's the name of the brand but I will leave it linked down below. I don't think this color and this style is available anymore because I got it a few uh, seasons ago but it's a malachite and uh, gold plated. It's really pretty but I'll try and find something similar and leave it uh, for you guys. Uh, my earrings are uh, Fendi's. You guys have seen it along uh, a few times for sure. If you follow me here I love these. I'm always wearing them and my watch is just Cavalli. Very cute. I got it in TK Maxx. Um, for bracelet I got this one right here. There's no brand to this bracelet. She's just like one of those things that I get. I like luxury but I also like uh, very affordable items and this was one of them. I really love it but it has no brand. It's just super cheap and I love it. I don't know. And uh, that's it for uh, jewelry. Oh I'm also wearing this beautiful ring, green ring that I got when I was on holiday in Kos and the stone is Agatha and it's gold plated as well. My diamond ring and then these you guys know my black diamond uh, ring, my ruby ring and my wedding and engagement rings and this is what I'm going to be wearing for the flight. I think it's super comfortable. The trousers have an elasticated waist so I'm going to be super comfy. And then for bag I'm going to take my speedy uh, Louis Vuitton bag. I, it's already packed with stuff. I'm going to show you quickly. It's already full with my stuff. And then I might also throw on this blazer by Zara. This one is quite old but I thought that I needed an extra layer and maybe this is too much to go to Dubai. I know it's going to be super hot there, but my idea is to change once I get there. So this will be the look. I really love it. Do let me know what you think. It's very different from my usual style. I usually go for a darker, um, darker outfits and this one is an all pink very muted uh, colors um, outfit but I wanted to feel comfortable and it's really cold in the UK guys so it's not it's not amazing the weather today is actually really good it's sunny but it's still very cold and yeah this is the look guys and uh, I'll go now uh, grab my stuff and I'll see you in Bistar
Hello guys, today is Sunday and I'm talking to you from the future a few weeks after I last spoke with you in Bistro Village and um, it's been a long time, I've been on holiday and I just came back which well two days ago and to be honest with you today is Sunday and I'm so tired but I really 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 wanted to film this last bit of the video so that I can upload it for next week uh, so today is Sunday, the video from today is already done, already uploaded on YouTube, so that's done. But if I don't do this little bit today, I won't be able to have a video for next week. So here I am filming on the Sunday, which I don't like to do, but I really don't want to disappoint everyone and you guys. And I just, I just wanted to film this and now I'm actually happy I got ready because I'm feeling much better and uh, I'm a bit tired because of the jet lag and all of that coming back from Dubai. But Guys, the holiday was amazing, but I'm, I won't talk to you about that now because now I have an unboxing for you and it's so, 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 so exciting that I can't even, I can't even tell you. This is an amazing, amazing unboxing and I can't wait to show you. I have just a little, um, a few items. It's not a massive, a massive haul, but uh, as I've shown you before, uh, we went to Bistro Village just before we uh, catch our flight to Dubai. And our flight was really late that night at half past nine. So uh, we left Bristol uh, quite early in the morning and we went to Bristol Village. We got there, we had lunch, as you guys seen on the on the clips before. We had lunch straight away because it was already lunchtime when we got there. And straight after we went into the shops, I loved Dolce & Gabbana. I was just like crazy on Dolce & Gabbana. They had amazing discounts as well, which is not very common to, for Dolce & Gabbana. And uh, I filmed a lot in Dolce & Gabbana, which I was able to, but not that much in other stores. For example, Balma, I wasn't able to film at all. Um, I was I was told off straight away. Uh, so I just filmed the outside. Then I went to uh, Christine Louboutin, which where I just filmed a little, little small clip and again I was told off and uh, yeah I filmed a few bits but I wasn't able to film like a proper Bistro Village uh, video for you guys but I've shown you as much as I could um, the prices this time were really really good so if you're thinking about going to Bistro uh, hopefully you'll still get those discounts before the new season kicks in um, by the time you see this video but yeah uh, the discounts were amazing and I got a few bits not massively because I wanted to save money for the buy and uh, yeah I have a few bits to show you I'm so excited for it uh, it's three items I want to show you today and um, yeah I loved being uh, going on Bistro Village uh, it's always very exciting to see all of the discounts uh, there if you guys don't know Bistro Village is an outlet a luxury um, store outlets you'll find brands like Dior, Valentino, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, Balma and many others, Prada, many others and um, yeah it's amazing they do amazing discounts up to 30, 40, 50 percent sometimes more and this time I really really loved the stores I really uh, enjoyed and where I saw the biggest discounts I would say Jimmy Choo was amazing I've shown you a few items on oh my god and uh, Jimmy Choo was really good Dolce Gabbana was really good um I didn't go into Gucci because the, the line was massive. I didn't go into Dior, but I heard that Dior had really good discounts as well. So that's another one to check out. I checked out Prada, but I wasn't able to film. And I didn't see many, many discounts, but you guys go in and check it out by yourselves. And uh, some others were really good as well. But to be honest, we didn't really see the whole thing because we didn't have time. We had to go back around 5 o'clock to drive to uh, London and then check in, do our everything for our flight and I also wanted to see the stores in the airport in Utero so yeah we didn't really see the whole thing but yeah guys uh, I'm talking to you from the future now and uh, this is the look of the day I'm gonna show you I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna show you the whole thing okay everyone so this is the look of the day I'm wearing this beautiful lace uh, black lace and white uh, from um, from where is this from i think it's temperley and it's vintage i got it in lampu and uh, it's really beautiful i don't wear it um, enough because it's cropped i don't know if you can see but it's quite quite cropped and uh, i love it though i put it on with my uh, high-waisted trousers these ones are wide leg by zara i'm gonna show you the whole thing hopefully you can see and then for shoes i'm wearing my black 
Jimmy Choo sling bags. I think they go really well with this. And I also popped my Gucci belt. And for jewelry, I'm wearing these beautiful earrings. Uh, these are from a local store in Bath called Cassandra. Really, really pretty. And uh, they're quite old, so I don't know if they're still available, but they're really, really nice. My necklace is Swarovski. I love Swarovski, as you guys know. And this is quite old as well. And I'm wearing my wedding ring and wedding bed, and that's it. And this is the look. I really love this look, by the way. And I'll probably wear this with a blazer, probably a black one. You guys know I love my black. But yeah, this is the look of the day, quite smart. But you know, some days you just want to look a little bit more smart. And obviously this is not the look I would wear around the house. But I just wanted, you know, to make an effort for you guys. And it's always nice. My lipstick is Maybelline, the normal one, the usual one I wear. This one right here. My shade is 510 and uh, that's it, my eyeliner and the usual stuff and now I will show you what I got in Mr. Village. Okay guys, so I think I will start with jewellery. I got two items of jewellery in Mr. Village and they are from Swarovski. In my opinion, Swarovski is one of the best, if not the best, bear with me, uh, jewellery store uh, to buy in um, Bistro Village. If you like crystal, and obviously this is not gold or um, anything like diamonds or anything like that, but it's silver pieces and uh, they are stunning and they are amazing quality. I don't know if you guys know Swarovski, but it's such a well-known brand. I think Everyone probably knows uh, Swarovski and uh, they last forever. I have this necklace guys for years. I don't remember when we got them, when we got it, but I have pieces from over 10 years ago and they are still not tarnished and they look amazing. So in my opinion, Bistro Village for Swarovski is amazing. They do 50, 60, 70, sometimes 80% discounts on jewelry and uh, Honestly, it's really, really worth it. So the first item I want to show you came in this little box right here. It's a white box with the Swan uh, logo. It's Swarovski's uh, symbol. And um, I got two pieces. This is the first one I wanted to show you. So inside this white box, you have this box right here. How beautiful. So it's in the shape of a jewel. And uh, again, you have the Swan um, logo in there, and it's a quite thick card box, so pretty. This is perfect for a present if you guys want to gift someone on Christmas. I think it's just beautiful. And then inside, oh, it's so beautiful. I got this stunning ring, guys. Look at this. First of all, it's pink, it's Barbie, it's massive, it's statement, so it's you know, amazing. I love it. Um, I'm not usually a pink girl, although I wear pink in the summer. I do like pink. Uh, but when I saw this beautiful ring, I couldn't resist. This is exactly the same as another one I have, um, just in a different color. So I have this in a clear color, which is like, um, like crystal color. And when I saw this one, I was obsessed. So the one I have, which is in a crystal color, I got it um, last, uh, I, I would say just before Christmas, not this Christmas, but the previous one. So obviously this piece is not from the re uh, most recent collection, but yeah, I got this ring exactly the same one in, in clear, in like crystal uh, color. And I'm so obsessed with it that when I saw this one, I couldn't, I couldn't resist guys. So I'm going to take it out and show you. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. So it's like this, I, I would say this is sort of like a, a triangular shape and it's so stunning. I love the color. It's like um, beautiful Barbie pink and uh, I don't know if you guys can see the color very well because my hands are quite tan from my holiday. Um, I got quite tanned in, in Dubai. Um, but uh, hopefully you can see uh, exactly how sparkly and colorful it is. I love it. I love a big ring. I love a statement ring. And when I saw this one, I was just so, so obsessed that I had to get it. It's just so beautiful. I'm going to take it out and uh, maybe show you against the box because I think you'll be able to see the color a slightly better um, against the white. It's so stunning. And let me just hold it in a different way, maybe like this. It's not easy because I think I think you are seeing my my nails behind, which are uh, bright yellow. So um, hopefully, 
hopefully you can see it it's so gorgeous and uh, it fits me perfectly they had more sizes which is amazing and um, this is just gorgeous guys gorgeous do let me know what you think but when I saw it I couldn't I couldn't resist and the price the price was absolutely fantastic let me just check because I think I have here um, the receipts uh, yes I do let me see uh, so mm -mm -mm, yes guys you're not gonna believe it you're not gonna believe it honestly you're not gonna believe it this ring when I bought the other version in clear so when it first came out I would say this was around a hundred and sixty something like that uh, let me see if the receipt says the original price I don't think it will but uh, it does say so it was around 160 it got discounted to 135 and then I got it are you ready for 54 guys 54 pounds for this gorgeous gorgeous ring in pink so Barbie so on trend right now and it's such a statement ring this is a cocktail ring you can go out with it um, with a beautiful dress I think this looks good with everything even with the black outfit like I'm wearing today I would wear this and you guys know I love massive like jewelry pieces and I can wear this for a day no problem I think it just looks fantastic and uh, if you guys seen the Gossip Girl Serena van der Woodsen always wears cocktail rings for a day and I'm so so in love with that aesthetics I think it looks amazing why to save this beautiful piece for a night out when you can rock it by day I mean I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but um, I love it I think it's so pretty and when I saw it I couldn't couldn't resist guys it's so stunning hopefully you are able to see how it looks like but I'll stop blabbing now but um, I mean 54 pounds <sighs> honestly and then I got another piece and um, uh, so it came also on this little white box so I got two of these boxes and um, it's also um, it also came in another one of these pink boxes which is you know so beautiful and again this is this would make a beautiful box for a present uh, for a loved one and um, oh, goodness me this one this one when I saw it I first saw it in a different color and I was like oh no I love that ring so much and I wanted it but I was like, I don't know, I'm not sure about that color. And then I asked the sales assistant, do you do you have the different another color, other colors? Because I saw a green one years ago, like two years ago, when it first came out. And uh, I love, I, mean, I was so completely in love with the green. And she said, actually, we might have it. And here it is. This is the second piece I got at Swarovski, guys. This gorgeous ring was over 200 pounds when it first came out. And I was completely, completely obsessed with it. And I didn't buy it because I thought it was too expensive and uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, you know, just spend that much money on this ring. And now I saw it on Vistar Village and I saw it in orange. And I was like, I like orange, but I'm not really a big fan of orange. And I did say to the sales assistant, I saw the green one and I love the green one. If you had the green, I would buy it like this. And she was like... I might have the green one and here it is guys look at this stunning ring I mean first of all it's massive massive it's in this clear color on the sides and then you have gold and the green stone on the top so beautiful again a statement ring this is like something you wear uh, if you want to make a statement I wouldn't wear this ring with any others um, on my hand on this hand and uh, I would just wear this beautiful piece by its own. It's so gorgeous. Hopefully the camera is focusing and you can you can see it properly because it's such a beautiful, beautiful ring. And I feel gorgeous with it. I think it's just absolutely breathtaking. And uh, I think this is a work of art, to be honest with you. A work of art. Look at this stunning, gorgeous piece. I mean, so stunning. And again, this was 56 pounds and it was, it was discounted from 280. I mean, 
56 pounds guys from 280 and it's absolutely new perfect condition um, it has no defects it's super comfortable on my finger I love it I think it's just like a gorgeous gorgeous piece and I was so happy when I saw it guys in the end with these two rings I spent 110 pounds which is less uh, than this one was originally uh, almost half of what the price of this one was I mean it's just amazing amazing and uh, oh I'm so in love you guys know I love jewelry if you have been here on my channel for a while and when I saw these two pieces I couldn't I couldn't resist guys and I know I don't need any more jewelry I, I, I have so much already so much jewelry I don't really need anything else but you know when you see these amazing deals and you're like, I would be an idiot not to buy it. That's what I thought when I saw these pieces. I mean, and they had so much more stuff, guys. If you are close to Bister, if you are in the UK, I would totally recommend checking out Swarovski because it's just chef's kiss, honestly. The discounts are amazing. And now... For the final item on this little what I got in Bister Village, I will show you a bag. Another bag, I know. I don't need any more bags, but <sighs> this one spoke to my heart and I got it here at Dolce Gabbana. Sorry that the bag is all uh, squashed, but this was in our um, hold luggage when we went to Dubai, I took it to Dubai and um, I actually didn't wear it in Dubai because I don't know I have this thing that I don't like wearing stuff that the new stuff that I get straight away I like to unbox it calmly I want to look at it I want to appreciate how beautiful and then I'll wear it I don't know if you guys are the same as me but I have this thing and uh, oh, when I saw this on the shop actually I was just like drown I mean I don't know if I can resist and uh, I know I just got two new bags and um, I got, did I get two new bags or one? Uh, I got, yes I got one, I got my Dior in Marbella, but this one guys, oh you'll understand in a minute, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unbox it with you. So it had a box um, that was uh, given to me with, with a bag, but I asked the, the sales assistant not to give me the box because um, I didn't want to uh, take the box to, to Dubai or leave it in the car, so I just asked for the dust bag. And here it is, guys. So it's a black dust bag. It does say Dolce & Gabbana. Let me just see if I have the price here so that I can tell you in a minute. Yes, I do. I think I do. Yes. Oh, I hope you're ready, guys, because this is just like... And again, I know I don't need any more bags and I know that this is completely, I don't need it. It's completely something that is, it just makes me happy, but it's something that I don't really need and I, I appreciate that. But uh, I love bags, what can I say? Some people collect watches, some people collect stamps. I love bags and I love shoes and I love clothes. I'm sorry, that's who I am. And oh my god okay i'll show you I'll, I'll i'll stop okay so as you can see it's a little bag i i didn't went crazy guys at least not now okay let me see if it's in the right position yes it is are you ready are you ready okay okay you are seeing it First hand here. I haven't unboxed it on TikTok, TikTok or uh, Instagram or anywhere else, and um, I just wanted you guys to be the first ones to see it. And um, yeah, I hope you're ready. Oh my god! Oh my god! So this is a mini bag with a little top handle, and it's animal print, guys. It's animal print. You guys know I love animal print and uh, here it is. I'm gonna take all of this plastic out. It comes with this little um, a leather um, cuff for the handle. Then I'm gonna try and take the handle out, the plastic. Oh, it's quite easy. It's quite easy to take it out. Oh, she's so pretty. 
as you guys can see I haven't worn it yet this is actually the proper unboxing with you look at this beauty I mean wow then it also has a crossbody a strap let's see if I can open this they always make these things so hard honestly oh my god and it it has so much as well it's not like just a little bit okay I was able to take a slight bit of plastic out okay they don't make it easy guys they don't make it easy there's so much plastic all around and um, oh my god she's so pretty okay I'm trying to take all of the plastic out guys bear with me I know it's frustrating but um, this is a real unboxing and this is what happens when you have this luxury items and um, they are so well protected that you're like it's like a never-ending job okay took all of this out let me see there we go and I still have I'm gonna take the dust bag out I still have a little bit of rubber all around the handle but um, and I won't I don't know how I'm gonna take this out to be honest I probably have to show you with the with the rubber but um, how pretty. I'm gonna take this little one with you as well oh my god ah! and I think I'm gonna show you like this it still has this I have to cut it with the scissors it still has a little bit of um, elastic uh, rubber elastic here so that will protect the handle but as you guys can see it has a crossbody um, a handle in it's like a chain and a gold one and then you have the little um, the little uh, top handle which is so beautiful let me see I'm just gonna close it properly so that I can show you okay oh my god she's so pretty so it has this top handle and then it also comes with a crossbody and then when you open so she's really slim as you guys can see and uh, when you open it's black leather inside and then it's like this so you have this area here for your cards really pretty and then you have this main area which is protected with this spongy stuff and then you also have the interior oh I don't know if the camera is showing you have the interior there it's not very big to be honest um, and it also comes with paperwork inside it's not very big it's just a little um, a little bag and I think I dropped something oh it's just um, more uh, paperwork and uh, it comes with uh, Dolce Gabbana card here authentication and uh, I don't know I don't think it comes with a mirror no, it doesn't have an interior pocket and it doesn't have a mirror. I don't know if you guys can see, but it doesn't have one. Uh, so I think I would be able to put my phone in here. I'm going to show you. Fits perfectly. But that's it. So if I put my phone in here, that's it. So it's, she's quite small. I would call this a wallet on chain, guys. This is a wallet on chain. So if you don't wear your phone in here, you'd be able to put like a lipstick, a mirror, uh, lip liner maybe that's it and then the cards here and I think this is it you still have a, a pocket here and uh, not much else but uh, she is a stunning stunning I love the animal print this is exactly the same animal print as my Dolce Gabbana Sicily bag I don't know if you guys remember that but um, yeah I got one in Bistro Village as well and uh, the print is exactly the same as this one with the Dolce Gabbana writing there as well so exactly the same the same I would say this is the same type of collection so Sicily style with the little top handle and then the animal print and she's a little wallet on chain so beautiful oh, I'm so happy with it she's so gorgeous she's the type of bag I'd wear, I would wear for a night out obviously or uh, during the day if I just want a little crossbody bag or something like super cute to take on my hand to go to lunch and uh, when you don't need a lot of stuff she's just absolutely mentally gorgeous that's what I would I would say about this bag and um, 
this is it guys this is what i got in bistro village and uh, oh, i'm so in love with it mm. okay and now for the price i'll start blabbling because otherwise we're gonna be here for like three days for the price uh she was originally oh i don't know it doesn't say how much it was originally uh no it doesn't guys i'm really sorry but um it doesn't say how much it was originally but um yeah hmm I got it for uh, 633 pounds, which is really, really good price, guys. But to be honest, I don't have how much it was. Um, she was on sale, but I don't know how much it was originally. But um, I don't know if I saw it on the store, how much the discount was. But I think I did. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this was around 900, 1000. Maybe not 1,000, maybe like 980, 970, something like that. And I got it for 600, so it's an amazing discount. But I will try to find something similar and link it down below for you guys. And um, so that you guys can check it out. I don't know if uh, this exactly exact um, style is still available on dolcecabana.com. But I will, I will, if it's available, I will link it for you guys. If you have the time, go check um, Dolce Cabana in Bistro Village. They had several of these, and they had the same style, like this Sicily. Um, little bag in other uh, prints as well so if you don't like the animal print they had i think red and black and some other colors as well uh, for the same price i think so um, i mean this is me absolutely me i love my animal print you guys know that and she's just so beautiful she's my new baby anyway guys this was uh, the video for today i hope you liked uh, the items i got in bistro village and the bistro village footage as well everything i filmed there do let me know um, i'm so happy with the things i got i know it's just three items but do let me know if you enjoyed them what did you think about my new bag and my new uh, rings from Swarovski? do let me know uh, thank you very much for watching i hope you guys uh, have a wonderful rest of day and rest of week and i'll see you here sunday at 7 p.m as usual until then i love you so much and i'll see you later guys bye bye